Time to listen to some more influencer music, yay! Hello everyone, it's me, your favorite influencer musician. Listen to my music. Today we're going to be listening to Bella Porch's new song, Build a Bitch. And quite frankly, I'm devastated because I simply despise getting one million views on my videos. I hate it even more when people leave a like and subscribe. No, but in all seriousness, Bella Porch has released a song and quite frankly, it has banged. I've known that this has been coming for quite a while. It's been in my video ideas for a long time, longer than I'd like to Admit. And there's also been a lot of teasers for the song. So we're going to start by looking for a few of the teasers. Okay, like it's a little teaser. What I'm noticing straight off the get-go without having listened to the song, Build a Bitch has been built a bit for TikTok. And by a bit, I mean a metric fuck ton. Having a moment in a song which literally has a one, two, three. Dun, 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 dun. It comes off as a bit obvious to me, but I don't personally have an issue of it. I don't think him would have done as well as it has if it wasn't for the Kim Kardashian Jeffree Star meme that I made. Okay, so this one is kind of an opposite to the Buss It Down challenge. Some really widespread marketing there. People who will slut drop and people who won't slut drop. You can still listen to my song. Oh, she even does the face thing. Maybe I should do my entire video like this. No, I'm not gonna do that. I have standards. Oh, she's done a, another one with her face. I could almost hear her marketing team salivating. I'll be honest, guys. I'm somewhat confident about this one. I know a lot of TikTokers have been told by their managers that music is the right way to go for them, and I don't disagree. But from some rather spicy insider information, I know of one TikToker that has released music and another TikToker that hasn't released their music yet, that they are both complete industry plants. They didn't really have much of an interest in producing music before TikTok. But with Bella Porch, there's this entire history of covers. And she clearly has some serious vocal ability far better than my own. You know what, right? Almost makes me mad that some people are just born into this world with good voices. I don't know if she's had coaching. I know I have fucking coaching. I don't know. I don't sound like that. It's really annoying to me because I love writing music. I love telling stories, but I always feel held back. And then to hear someone just fucking on a ukulele. Ugh. The point is, I don't think the vocals in Build a Bitch are gonna be a problem. Quite frankly, the opposite. Chicky wing, chicky wing, hot dog and bologna, chicken and macaroni. Like, how are you making that song sound good? I've not cried this much over chicken wings since that time in the KFC toilets. Oh, wait, hold on. There's one more piece of content, I think, which is a face zoom in the music video. No one can tell me that this hasn't been built for TikTok. <laughs> That's quite horrifying. I like this. But anyway, let alone her teasing her audience. I feel like I've been teasing you lot too much. So let's get into the music video. Welcome to Match Made Home of the Perfect Oh, is that, that's that, that fucking, um, oh, that's the paintbrush guy, right? You must know, right? The amount of like paintbrushes on, uh, 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 uh. Very short cameo, but nonetheless. Oh, okay, who are these people? I feel like there's gonna be a lot of faces we need to try and recognize. Zalki Ray? Wait, no, sorry, that's, that's corpse. This ain't build a bitch. You don't get to pick and choose. This ain't build a bitch. A bitch. You don't get to pick and choose different ass and bigger boobs. If my eyes are brown or blue. Fairly straightforward message, I've got nothing wrong with it. Men are trash, that's a vibe I can get behind. I'm filled with flaws and attitudes, so if you need perfect, I'm not. I like it. It's a good start, starting with the hook. Whenever a song starts with a chorus, though, it always reminds me of the talks I've had with labels. They love it when you start a song with the chorus or the hook, because a lot of the music industry is about implanting songs in people's heads so that they want to re-listen to them. But I think in a lot of cases that takes away from music, you know, having these quieter moments that you start with and you build the story into these grander moments. Perhaps I'm overthinking it. That's got a good groove to it. I like the bass. Bob the Builder broke my heart, told me I need fixing. I mean, if we're gonna talk about this line, logically, can he fix it? Yes, he can. He's Bob the fucking Builder. The lyrics here are consistent. I've got no real issues with them. There is most likely some hidden meaning in Bob the Builder that means more to her than it does to me. But in fairness, he is kind of daddy. <laughs> I like the production on it. It kind of has that toy making feel to it. It feels like it's all really been thought out from the vibe of the song to the lyrics to the music video. Curvy like a cursive font. A very niche reference there, but I do somewhat get what you're getting at. My boy's built like impact. And then we get into the chorus. Same. 
I was gonna take a moment to compliment the outfit. Uh, quite frankly, I was gonna say it was fire. The budget on this must be absolutely nuts. I mean, it has very much paid off with this many views. Okay. Oh, he's fucking dead. Okay, in the music video now, she's gonna be revolting against the people that are building the bitches. Don't shoot the messenger, man. He's just he's just trying to pay his bills. I'm not sure if I'm really a fan of the, the minimalistic drops that have been going around recently. I know they bang on TikTok, and that's why a lot of producers are doing them these days. But for me, it just kind of takes the sting out of the song. Sure, I could kind of like drop to the floor and change outfits, and it would seem quite satisfying. But I can't really imagine a situation where I'd casually want to listen to a song like that. That being said, I do really like the distinct distorted, wavy bass. I sound like I'm a master chef. Contrasted against those childish la la la's, it creates this quite nice sonic painting of builder, which is the childish side, and then bitch, which is like the distorted side. The level of it is still somewhat superficial, but I can appreciate it. Boys are always playing dolls, looking for the barbie. Boys are always playing dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Correction, sorry, uh, Valorant. Who do you mean? No one, you probably have a life. Looking for their Barbie, they don't look like Ken at all. Hardly have a heartbeat. Hate to break it to you, but they're both plastic figurines and none of them have heartbeats. I understand what she's getting at though, that men look for the perfect person when they live like this. But maybe some of us aren't looking for our Barbie. Maybe some of us are looking for our human Trek, you know? Kind of reminds me of someone. <laughs> Need someone who falls apart so he can play Prince Charming. No, no, wrong character, all right? The second verse remains consistent with the theme. The distinction between the first and the second is that now she's saying, well, the guy isn't much at all anyway. So how can he ask for the things that he asks for in the first verse? And then we move into the second chorus. <laughs> This is very much constructed for TikTok, isn't it? It's not just the lyrics of the one, two, three. Here's a dance you can do at home. Please fucking Christ, make a TikTok. This music video was expensive. I feel like a fucking airbender. I love here, right? The lyrics page just says post chorus. La 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 la. I get you're playing into the childish aspect of it. It somewhat loses its momentum there though. Obviously this music isn't intended for me. I listened to the 1975, so never trust my musical opinions, please. Hey, it's Bretman Rock. And here's a little Easter egg. This person here is James Charles. I didn't know this when I was recording the video, but he actually got completely cut. Some TikToks have leaked of him behind the scenes, but he's not credited in the music video. And this is the only time where you see him. <laughs> they literally tried to hide him in smoke. It's really impressive. I mean, visually, they absolutely smashed that. There's no doubt to that. Right, let's see some reactions to this song. Wait, guys, why is this song actually good? This is the first TikTok star that has actually made good music. I mean, it's positive, which is good. I really don't like it when people say, why is this good, though? Because it really goes to show the sense of expectation that people have going into influencer music. I know for a fact that I do not help that, right? But you need to understand that I'm purposely pessimistic in these videos. I go in knowing that I need to kind of take it apart in some regards. But go into listening to this kind of music the way you would any other music. You go into it thinking about the product, not the person or personality that made it. Oh my God, this TikTok has 162,000 likes. Bella isn't buying likes. YouTube just takes a while to update, especially when the channel is fairly new and a video does that well. And realistically, why would someone want to buy likes anyway? You don't get paid from likes. Apparently Robert Grace Music has made his own verse for the song. We're gonna take a look at that. Might be a little fucked up. Right, this is a good example for what I mean when I talk about expectations going into music. People know that this guy is a musician, so when he goes into something covering it, people are already expecting it to be different than the way they expected Bella Porch to be. Realistically, this isn't a bad verse, but it's not great for one big reason. It doesn't make sense in the part of the song that it's in. Obviously, he doesn't have access to the instrumental. He can't do an actual verse, but if you think this version is better than the original song, then I'm afraid, objectively, you are incorrect. Here we have some YouTuber reactions. Literally perfect. And people need to hear this because you literally cannot pick and choose what a girl has. I don't know. I wouldn't kind of use it as a campaign song. Obviously, I 100% agree with the message. You can't pick and choose, you know, elements of someone. You can't change someone. But no one that will naturally listen to this song will disagree with that fact. You know what I mean? I think she's going to have a better entrance into the music industry than Dixie. 
Addison. I don't disagree with that. I've listened to all of Dixie's music in my videos. I've listened to Addison's music in my videos. And this has definitely been the most impressing thing, both sonically and visually. Obviously, it's not my genre and all of this is subjective. And at the end of the day, I am just an asshole. If I had any advice for you, which is the same advice I'm currently trying to have for myself, it would be to take some risks. There's enough music out there that goes verse, hook, verse, hook, finish. But fuck about with the producers. Try and make something a little bit more dynamic. But that is coming from me, creator of slow down with that being said guys listen to my music i've got a new song releasing next month it's called wake up here's a little snippet if you enjoyed this video you'll enjoy the one i made on addison ray's music and with that said i've been james marriott subscribe